Hi guys, Rachel here and welcome back to another video. So I've decided to create a little series called 5 Minute Friday where I will share tips, tricks and techniques to use in your everyday scrapbooking, paper crafting and memory keeping projects. So I'll be sharing organising tips, tips on how to make the most of your stash, time saving techniques and quick DIY ideas. So in today's video I'll be sharing with you how to make DIY ephemera. This DIY project is inspired by the little zines that are going around at the minute and people are making. If you're unsure what a zine is, it's basically an A4 sheet of paper folded into a little magazine which you can decorate however you like and write in whatever you like and then you can photocopy it and then make as many duplicates as you want to pop into a happy mail package and send out to your friends and family and things like that. So the idea for these DIY ephemera bits came from the concept of photocopying something to make duplicates. I think it would be particularly good if you are wanting ephemera pieces for a particular theme but can't find any then you can just make your own. To start this DIY you simply just need to start drawing. You can draw whatever you like, whatever theme you're going for. Um, I was drawing things with a summer theme since it's summer um, and to gather insp inspiration. I looked on Pinterest for inspiration and I also um, looked in books and um, I particularly like children's books, the illustrations, seeing all the way that they're all different how the different drawings are presented, how the colours are used. You really can gather information, inspiration from um, children's books. I find those the best when drawing. Um, if you find it hard to draw, if you don't feel like you're a good drawer, I don't believe you because everyone can draw, but uh, <laughs> Go on to Pinterest and put in like how how to draw an ice cream just as an example and Pinterest will give you an image which will show you step by step instructions on how you can draw and I think these are really good just to practice your drawing skills. The one tip I can give you from drawing is to have your pencil sharpened and to have a clean rubber on side. Um, if your rubber is dirty like mine was, I just use my X-Acto knife to clip off the edges to get the clean rubber underneath because it's important to have a clean rubber when you're, when you're rubbing out mistakes because you don't want it to smudge all over the paper. After you've finished your drawings, um, this isn't necessary but I photocopied it just so I've got a, a duplicate before I start colouring in. This way, if I decide I want some different, use the same drawings but with different colours, I can go back to the one I photocopied and colour that in. And you can photocopy it as many times as you like, so you can go back as many times as you like. After that, it's time to colour in your pictures, your drawings, however you like, with, with whatever medium you like. I used watercolours and Copic markers but you can also use pencils and um, just whatever your favourite medium is to colour in with. Just go crazy and colour them in. Once you've coloured them in I like to go um, and outline all of the images with a black pen. I just use my Illustrated Faith um, black marker to outline mine but you can use whatever black marker you have. I think it gives the images more definition and makes them stand out a little bit more. After that you can then go go through your images and rub out the pencil lines that are underneath but sometimes I don't think that's necessary because once the colours on and the outlines done you can't really see the pencil lines but if something like that bothers you then you can go over with the rubber and rub out the pencil lines. 
Then it's time to take your finished images to the photocopier again and make as many copies as you like. And then it's time to fussy cut your images out. You can cut them out with a tiny white border around them or you can cut them straight from the outline that you just did. It just cut them out however you like to cut your things out. <laughs> um, I like to leave the white border around because it makes them look more like um, die cuts and your ephemera bits. I haven't really got any fussy cutting tips. All I can say is instead of moving your scissors around your image, it's better to move the paper instead of the scissors that way you're getting there you've got more control of where you're cutting and there you go that's it you've got your own unique DIY ephemera bits to use in all your projects in your scrapbooking projects in your paper crafting projects some ideas on where you can use them you can use them in your scrapbooking layouts you can use them in your project life layouts you can make cards with them you could even um, make invitations to a party especially if it's a children's party and you've drew like an icon you can photocopy it as many times as you like to make duplicates of the same one to make a bunch of invitations you can also use them in your creative journaling like i have here um and i just love the cards the summer themed cards i made and I've got a process of this for next week's 5 Minute Friday. I personally love how my DIY ephemera turned out and I hope you decide to make some yourself. I hope you've got some inspiration from this video. And yeah, that's all from me today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!